Hello, everyone. Hey, everybody. Good afternoon What's... from East Texas. What's Hello. up? So, guys, we are in Gulf Shores, Alabama today. We've been here since Wednesday. Today's Saturday. We've been down to the beach several times. Um, it's just like right around the corner. What do you think of this place? It's awesome. Uh, I can't believe we haven't been here sooner. The thing about this place is that you feel like you're you're in the Caribbean. The water's not quite mm -hmm. as good, but you have it's just an awesome beach town. Everything you want um, can get a little expensive on the beach, though. Ooh, here. Yeah, it can. We learned that today. We just said, we were walking and we're like, oh, let's just pop in the hangout and have lunch. Sixty five dollars later. Dinero. OK, lots of money you better have. But the beach is like that white powdered, mm -hmm. like perfect sand. And it's huge. It's so wide. And a little section of beach that we're on right here in Gulf Shores has a couple little restaurants. Well, not little, the hangout. It's humongous. Huge. They got excellent live bands with like the best sound engineers that you can, I mean, they sound pro. Um, then they have pinkies down the way there. Uh, it's a little bar and restaurant right on the beach. Y'all and people, people aren't wearing masks. <clears throat> this is the most normal we have felt since we've been vacationing since the pandemic. It's starting to feel <laughs> pretty normal, you guys. Yeah. So that's, I think we're about to turn the corner maybe. I think so too. I mean, we- Cheers to that. I don't know if y'all uh, follow or in our Facebook group, but I posted a little video from Florabama the other night. The house was packed. The floor was packed. The band was awesome and nobody was wearing masks. So it's like, oh, are we getting back to normal? Okay, everybody kept saying, you guys are so close to Florabama, the Florabama line. Mm -hmm. You gotta go just up the road, which is a Pensacola address, and go to Florabama. It's like Gillies, but better. It's like three stories of live music, restaurants, on the beach, and then you can go across the street to the yacht club. They have a separate yacht club, but this place, was it reminded me of like the Lido deck of a cruise ship. Yes. You know, you go from one restaurant and bar mm -hmm. to the next and it was all in one building right on the beach. It was super, super awesome. I can't believe we haven't been here before actually. I know we've never like- And we live so close. Yeah, we've ver never said, oh, let's just take a vacation and go to the beach. We usually get on a cruise ship or here lately we've been, you know, flying to the Caribbean. But we have this beautiful local beach less than six hours away from us. Yeah. And just, we've never been until now. Yeah, five hours. And this this entire strip here is just one after the next beach towns, and it's awesome. But, uh, okay, so we've been doing that. We're here at Luxury RV Resort in Gulf Shores. We're about four blocks from the beach. Mm -hmm. And this is our setup, you guys. Check it out. Yes. So let me walk out a little bit further so you can see that. I'm going to flip it around. Flip it around. Oh, I'm gonna flip around. Turn around, honey. Oh, turn around. Turn around. Ooh, ooh, here we go. <laughs> All right, be our tour guide. Show us the the campsite. Oh, the mic from. You can go ahead and just talk to him. Okay. Well, show us the campsite, honey. All right. First of all, you gotta have the skull and crossbones. Hold on, we gotta flip the mic. We're live, y'all. We're gonna flip that microphone around. Hopefully you can hear me a little bit better. And uh, hold on. Uh, Put your beer down, honey. Uh, <laughs> hold my beer and watch this. Yeah. All right, so there's our little site, you guys. We were actually uh, at the front of the RV park for two nights, but uh, they didn't have any cancellations and we added another day on. But luckily they had a spot here. <laughs> So we're in the back now, so we've got to experience what it's like in the front and in the back. Mm -hmm. This particular site, it fits our RV better, so I like the site itself better, but I like the convenience of being close to the pool and the restrooms. So we're kind of far back right now, but... So this is it. This is, uh, this is the Gemini. Come on. Check out our new mat. Okay, let's see if I can show the mat. Nope, wrong way. There's our, new mat. There's our new mat. It says happy campers, Jason and Lisa. Who got that for us? That's from Hillary and Curtis Fields. Oh yeah. Okay, now check this out. We got us a new little flag, you guys. How about that? So in learning how to do RVing and us newbies, we've seen what people have and don't have. And we've saw a lot of people put their little names, like their, you know, the 
Myatt's house or something like that. So we decided to make our own little EECC Travels banner. Mm -hmm. I thought it was cool. We got the awning out because, you know, the wind's not too bad, so we can keep the awning out. Gives us a, gives us a little bit of shade. Oops. Somebody said they can't hear you, Jace. Can you hear me now? You all hear us? We got the scooter right here. Check out the scooter. This thing, we've already been to the grocery store and back and it's come in so handy. We hung some groceries right here. We put some groceries in here and uh, I gotta go get some gas for it. But this thing has been awesome for us, especially here in the beach town. Can you hear me now? Yep. All right, good deal. You just gotta kind of stay close to me. But this thing has been super awesome. I love it. And you guys, 95 miles to the gallon. Not that we're going that far because we just gotta go four, four blocks to the beach, but it's great. I love it. And then we got our rocking chairs, our table, our rug, our picnic table, which this comes stock. <laughs> yeah, we don't carry that around. And look, I don't have all these fancy gadgets. We got a small rig and everybody's got these fancy black stones and stuff. Look, here's what I say. Just throw it on the grill, man. Look, look. A little freezing art. A little freezing art. It's, a, it's amazing what you can do on this little thing. You just got to clean it out, wipe it down a little bit before you put it back in the RV. But this thing is awesome. I'm going to flip it back around here. That's enough of me. Bye, guys. Ah! <laughs> okay, flip the mic around, honey. <laughs> there you go. All right. So, we were just going to make this video today. One, just to talk to you guys. Here, come, come sit down, honey. Okay, honey. Yes, dear. <laughs> All right, so we thought we would just come and talk to you guys for a minute. We've gotten a lot of questions lately about, do we like this RV? Do we like RVing? So we thought we would just sit down and talk to you guys for a minute and answer those questions. So Jason, do you like the RV? It sucks. No, it's terrible. Really, I don't like it at all. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, no, I, it's, it's, it's amazing. I actually like it more than what we thought we were going to like her more than I thought I was going to like it. Um, the RV itself, you know, a lot of people's asked, how's the RV holding up? Is it holding up good after five months? Because a lot of people are hearing it's holding up and a lot of people are hearing that they fall apart. Well, RVs, it's giant. It's a giant land yacht, you guys. It's going to rattle, shake, rattle and come apart at the seams eventually. You just got to do some preventative maintenance, you know, along the way but we haven't had any issues really with ours at all we had that one little issue but i got it fixed it was some little valve that got stuck but i was able to work it loose so it really wasn't an issue um the gemini has held up phenomenally um, we have not had any problems whatsoever and we're happy we are still happy five months later with the gemini yeah, I, I honestly love this thing. Every time we get out in it, I'm like, God, I really, really, really love our RV. I'm so glad we got, well, first of all, I'm glad we decided to start RVing because we talked about it a long time ago and we thought with all the cruising and everything else we were doing that it would be way down the road before we got one. Yeah. And then of course COVID happens and the RV world has been booming and we decided, you know what? That's a good time for us to get started too. So we did a lot of research to pick the one we wanted and we picked this one and love it. Happy new year guys. Got a lot of comments coming in. Shake, rattle and roll. <laughs> That's right. That's pretty much what we're doing. Shake, rattling and rolling. And you know, we get it that these things aren't gonna be perfect in the RV world. It's, you know, it's not. Um, so you just gotta have the right mindset and make the best of it, right? Mm -hmm. it's, things are gonna break down. Things are gonna break down your house. But after five months with this particular unit, I would absolutely still recommend it. Now, with that said, of course, somebody could get one, a Gemini, and it could be a lemon. It could not be put together as mm -hmm. well, you know? It could have, could have not had the right people working on it on the line or whatever. You know, things like that can happen, you know, obviously. So you just gotta have a little common sense there, but, 
but um, ours and I think it has a lot to do with the dealer that you buy it from. I agree with that. I was going to make a comment on that. You know, we got it from the motorhome specialist in Alvarado, Texas, and they, it was five-star experience. They took care of any issues that were, that they had, which they said were only cosmetic, mm -hmm. but they really give it a thorough inspection. And let me tell you what, I would recommend buying anything, any kind of motorhome or, or travel trailer from motorhome specialist in Alvarado, Texas. Ted did us a solid job and so the dealer the dealer makes a big difference too mm -hmm. but you know we got us a good one and we got a we got it from a good dealer and I think it's just a combination that was it's been good to us so far yeah I totally agree with that I've read we're in a there's a Facebook group for people like us that own this particular model the Gemini and the compass and so we read a lot of people's good stories and bad stories but we've heard some horror stories of brand new RVs and all these things that are wrong and I, I, we haven't had those issues we've had a few minor issues but nothing big and I, like Jason said, I think the dealer has a lot to do with it because if you buy from a big dealer that does bulk um, purchases, they get them for a better price, and then they ha they're they big enough to hire a crew that's going to inspect these things before you come and take ownership of it. Yeah, yeah. No doubt about it. Hands down. No doubt about it. Um, guys, you got to come to Gulf Shores if you haven't. It's, it's, uh, it's great. It's great, you know. I think this is what is it gulf shores boulevard i don't remember the name of it it's uh but, i'm not sure yeah you go down here and take a left and you just drive all the way down to pensacola you know mm -hmm. right on the right on the beach and it's pretty amazing but we love it here definitely going to come back mm -hmm. you know now we want to try destin we want to try panama city yeah. you know cruise on up the panhandle there and uh check all that out i'm hoping that we'll get to do that pretty soon but we got a lot of big plans coming up. Lots of things are happening. As you guys know, the cruise industry is starting to kind of open up. Isn't that exciting? That's super exciting. I'm and excited. It's time to get back out to the sea. It is. We are taking a cruise next month. Yes. We are. Well, I wasn't sure if you were going to say anything. Well, about I'm not, not saying which one we're taking. All I'm saying is we are taking a cruise in the month of June. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. Yep. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I was, they're like in the New Orleans vlogs. Yeah, we've got one more New Orleans video to put out. And it's then... a little food tour. Just, just mm -hmm. um, we didn't uh, record any of our food in the vlogs, so we're just going to put together all our meals right. in one little video and do a little food tour of New Orleans. So I hope you guys check that out. Oh, and also, this is a good time to say, if you're new to the channel, hit the like button smash that subscribe button help us out guys because the more you do that the more you comment the more you like the more you subscribe the more youtube likes it and recommends our videos and gets put out there and that helps us a tremendous amount especially now that we do this full time right we could use all the help we can get <laughs> so we're counting on you fine folks out there come along with us and help us out but um yeah okay so we got a lot of things coming up that are going to be really exciting yeah we got some new equipment gonna try to gonna try to take some videos to the next level i'm gonna try some new things i could bomb could be good either way it's going in the video mm -hmm. um <laughs> but also i want to say that we finally have came up with a name of the rv and a lot of people have asked over and over again okay what's the name what's the name because we've asked we've reached out to all you guys we've taken polls yep you've gave us amazing wonderful feedback and thank y'all so much for that because without y'all we couldn't decide a lot of things that we decide so y'all <laughs> really make a big difference but, uh, yeah we had lots of great name suggestions and what's funny is the one that that I thought would win or the one Jason thought would win didn't win and then the one that did we're like you know what I think I really like that so for all of you that gave us suggestions on the name for our RV two thumbs up and the ones that you voted for you guys thank you uh, Sean says why can't you tell us about the cruise because we we because it's keeping a secret that it's a secret, secret Sean yes there's a reason never ask what the reason <laughs> is Drone footage. Actually, Jason flew the drone today, yes. I flew the drone today. You guys know, if you watch us and follow along, Jason doesn't do a whole lot of drone footage because 
I'm a little scaredy cat when it comes to that little bitty DJI Spark. I'm always scared to lose it, but I'm kind of breaking out of that now. So I took it up higher and I took it up farther. I'm getting better at it, but I got great drone footage of the RV park. Mm -hmm. And you'll be seeing that in an upcoming video really soon because like Elisa said, we only have one more video in the New Orleans series mm -hmm. and then we're gonna get right to what we're doing here. Yep. So we're gonna try to keep it on real time as possible now. Yeah. Also, before I forget, guys, so we're gonna wake up in the morning and we're driving to Lake Charles, Louisiana, just up the road from where we live to see one of my favorite all-time bands, Blackberry Smoke, live and in concert at the Golden Nut Casino in Lake Charles. So meeting my good buddy there, Joey Cooksey up. He brought him a date and uh, him and her and me and Elisa, mm -hmm. we're gonna be our first concert in a long time. Yeah, gosh. But, well, obviously we couldn't go to any concerts last year. And so Jason is jonesing for a concert. And when I saw Blackberry Smoke was coming anywhere near us, I knew that was one that he would just love to see. And she likes Blackberry I Smoke. I do. She I really does. do. She actually likes it. So we're excited about that. But without further ado, if you guys are ready, it is time to reveal the name of the Gemini. Are you guys ready? Drum roll. Drum roll, please. Everybody, drum roll. <laughs> All right, that was so cheesy. Oh well. Her name is Ellie. Ellie. E L Y. Yes, so that stands for EECC -E Land Yacht. So we absolutely loved that suggestion from you guys. And we always knew it was a she. Yes, she's definitely a she. And so it yeah. was supposed to be Eli. It looks like Eli, but we're pronouncing it Ellie, E-L-Y, because she's a girl. You can't call it's her a girl. Eli. We always referred to her as a she from the beginning, and we were almost calling her Eli. And then Elisa kept going, but you can't always called her a she. Mm -hmm. How about Ellie? And I said, that's that's got to be it. Yep, that's so, it. What do you guys think about Ellie? That's Ellie. I'd like to introduce to you Ellie. Isn't she beautiful? Isn't Hi, she Ellie. <laughs> so, so we're getting used to calling her Ellie now, and we're going to get a license plate made to go on the front of the RV that says Ellie. Ellie. E L Y. I hope you guys like it. Let us know. Drop a comment. Did we make a good choice? Did we not make a good choice? Um, let us know what you think. But um, that's her name, regardless. <laughs> that's Ellie. Ta da! Ta -da. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are going to go and we're going to go to the beach and we're not going to walk you guys all the way down to the beach because it's four blocks and getting a uh, reception will probably go in and out. So we're just going to um, turn her off now. Say goodbye to you guys. Thank you all so much for joining us on this little impromptu video. I hope you're having a happy Memorial Day weekend. Yes, happy Memorial Day weekend to all you guys. We hope you have lots of good times with your friends and your family. Cook lots of good food drink lots of good stuff, and have some fun. And until then, guys, we'll see ya. We'll see ya out on the road. Bye, Bye everybody. Happy Memorial Day weekend.